well hello from a very windy Brighton and coming up in this video well hello from a very windy but now very sunny Brighton if you're not from the UK you may not be familiar with Brighton it's a seaside town on the south coast of England and it's only about 47 miles from London. As a result, it's been popular with day trippers for hundreds of years. And a lot of famous people live here. Fatboy Slim, Nick Cave, my favourite. And it's a very cosmopolitan place. And if you want to see a, a hipster, there's plenty here. See a lot of little woolen hats and beanies and that sort of thing, you know. But anyway, I'm not here to tour Brighton itself because there's plenty of people that live here and know Brighton better than I do. I'm here because it's the location for some of my favourite films. And the first one we're going to look at, we're going to tour some of these locations. And the first one is Quadrophenia, filmed in 1979 and tells the story of Jimmy the Mod. Him and his friends come down to Brighton to have a dance, have some fun and fight with the rockers. And that was filmed here. Like I said, it's Phil Daniels in the starring role as Jimmy, uh, Leslie Ash as Steph, and Ray Winston's in it as well, as well as many stars you would recognize from TV. So I'm gonna look at some of those locations. The film was loosely based on the Who's rock opera of the same name. And it, uh, as well as that, I'm gonna have a look at another, a few other locations from a franchise I'm a big fan of. They, I know they made two films set in Brighton, or partly set in Brighton, and they were the Carry On films as well. So at the end, I'm going to look at those. Carry On at Your Convenience, which I've seen over 50 times, and Carry On Girls. Both of those were partly filmed in Brighton. By the way, if I was being interviewed for a highbrow magazine, I would say my favourite films are uh, Citizen Kane, maybe The Third Man, and Lawrence of Arabia. But in reality, I can watch Carry On over and over again. So that's enough chattering. Let's get started. Let's go and look at some of the locations from Quadrophenia, and if I have time, some from the Carry On films. Let's go. So this is the area, which in the film is where all the mods meet up when they first get to Brighton. So am I going to get Mel to march with me at the prom? Chanting, we are the mods. So, this is Brighton Beach. As you can see, it's not a sandy beach, it's mainly shingle, although there is a bit of sand and low tide over there. But anyway, this is where the main fighting took place in the film. They come piling across the, the shingle over to your families on deck chairs and things like that and start fighting here with the rockers and the police come down and they all come piling down. I don't know if you can see it over there. They come piling down the ramps, then they get chased back up by the police and horseback. I'm now at Brighton Sea Life, which is Brighton Aquarium, just opposite Brighton Palace Pier. And in the film, this was the ballroom. Jimmy was chucked out but trying to impress Steph, who was dancing on the balcony. He did a, a big dive into the crowd and the balancer chucked him out. So that corner there, and that street, East Street, is one of the main locations in the film. 
the mods are walking down and they spot the rockers in a cafe which is there. The front's changed now and they all pile in and attack the rockers and the main fight scene is in that street up there. You also see it in the film, there's like an air cadet marching band coming along the seafront and then from that street the mods come out and they sort of push their way into the band and join in. So this is East Street, one of the main locations in the film. It's where the mods come walking up and they meet the police and they get trapped by the police and a big fight ensues. So let's head down East Street. So as you walk up East Street, away from the seafront, you get to Quadrophenia Alley, named after the location where Phil Daniels, Jimmy, and Steph go for a bit of hanky-panky during the riot. So let's take a look at that. So this is where Jimmy and Steph come during the riot. They come down here. And I think they would have gone into that, that area there. Judging by all the graffiti and the mod stuff, it's still just as popular as ever. So one of the biggest stars I forgot to mention in the film was Sting. He plays Ace Face, one of the coolest mods, and Jimmy looks up to him. So anyway, in the film, Jimmy comes back on the train and he's walking up the seafront and he spots Ace's scooter outside the Grand Hotel. Now as he's getting towards the entrance, Ace comes out and he's nothing more than a bellboy. So, all his, his hero is just a humble bellboy. So he goes to the front of the, the Grand Hotel and just screams, bellboy, down the corridor. I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna have a look at the Grand Hotel. It would have been parked there where that bollard is. And out comes Sting in his bellboy outfit. Is that a brush? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've left Brighton because towards the end of the film, you see him on Ace's scooter and you think he's going to drive over the edge of the cliff. But in fact, just the scooter goes over and you see him walking away. So I've been up to Beachy Head to find that spot. I couldn't recreate the scene. I think there's been quite a bit of coastal erosion. So here's the scene and I couldn't get in that position and I wasn't going close to the edge. <laughs> and after this, back to Brighton. So that was Quadrophenia, and I'm getting on to uh, my second favourite films now. And they're Carry On, Carry On Girls, and Carry On At Your Convenience. Both parts of those were filmed in Brighton. So let's take a look at some of those places. By the way, you may be wondering where Mel is. She's not really into Carry On films, <laughs> and she's not a fan of Quadrophenia, so <laughs> she's gone shopping.
all this area by the West Pier has been redeveloped for the British Airways I-360. But in the film Carry On Girls, Sid James, Sidney Fiddler, makes his escape on a go-kart. He comes down the pier and turns left and escapes at the prom, followed by Barbara Windsor on a little scooter. The police are lined up there, they turn and watch him head up there on his little go-kart. I'm walking up from the pier to 117, 118 Marine Parade. And this was the hotel that was used in both Carry On Girls and Carry On At Your Convenience. It was a hotel then, owned by Dora Bryan, and they have got a blue plaque on the door. And uh, now it's private apartments. In Carry On At Your Convenience, the coach drops them off here, and they're all running that road there, up to get their lunch, only to find all the staff on strike. <laughs> And in Carry On Girls, the hotel was owned by Joan Sims and Jack Douglas was the porter. Right, for my last stop, I'm going to walk back over to Brighton's Palace Pier and that was used in Carrion at Your Convenience. WC Boggs and Sons. Toilet makers. So that'll be the last stop for the day. So in Carrion at Your Convenience, after visiting the hotel, for lunch, which they didn't get. They just got drunk, they came down to Brighton Palace Pier. WC Boggs and Sons works out in. I must admit that those two carry on films from the early 70s were some of the worst they ever made. But for some reason, I really like them. And actually, Carry On At Your Convenience was the first box office failure in the franchise. They didn't actually make the production costs back until 1976. Well, towards the end of the film, they all go to the end of Brighton Pier and go on the fairground rides, the ghost train, the Helter Skelter, Although I don't think these are the rides they actually went on a long time ago. And I don't even know if they're in the same position on the pier as they were then. But that a, a fight in the ghost train and Bernard Breslau went on the Helter Skelter. I've got more film location videos coming up next. And by the way, guess who turned up? <laughs>